Forget socially distanced drinkers, this pub would love that problem. But they closed long before coronavirus. It's the closeness of the cliffs here that's been keeping their customers at bay. It's been going on for a long time. It's the fear of watching your home, pieces of your home fall into the sea on a daily basis. I can't really describe and I can't put into words. Now, I'm not going to go much closer to the edge of the cliff than this, really. You can see where the edge is now, but if you just peek over the side there, that bit of grass there when I was last here a couple of years ago was about 15 feet higher. So you can see just how quickly it's dropping. If you come round to the left, that is how close it is to the first part of the Blue Anchor Hotel here. And if you come round this way, the fear is that if the pub starts to go, the road will start to go too. And that is just the other side of those cars. What we will do is come in with some uh, sizable rock armour, much, much bigger chunks of rock, bring it in and, and pile it up to about um, nine metres high. Now four million pounds to save the road and hopefully the pub too. Shouldn't this have been done a few years ago? Yes, <laughs> I think it's all got to do with money. If the money was available, I think it would have been done. But with this coastline, people have to be aware that it is retreating and therefore we won't be able to save all of it. The work should be underway inside a year and then the Blue Anchor may finally start to see its customers come back again. Andrew Plant, BBC Points West. Watch it in Somerset.